Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's time for another VOD review. I honestly did not decide what match I was going to do this week until maybe about 30 minutes ago. Just uh, decided to uh, pick something a little more retro, not so recent. I realized there's a lot of great games from last year's Torg event that uh, that we could totally watch. And so the first one that came to mind is one that I didn't get to really see. And I'm sure I went back and watched it at some point, but I totally forget now and everything about it. So I wanted to watch Packy versus Snipe um, and go through that review this week because I that was a, a huge match for that tournament. And I mean, there were so many huge matches at that tournament, but that was one that I wanted to go back to for sure. Uh, I thought it would be fun to review because I'm feeling a little nostalgic. We're about as far away from Torg on either end as you can possibly be here in the month of April. So or in the month of May, excuse me. <laughs> so uh, we're starting to turn the corner and uh, I'm already excited for this year's tournament. So it got me thinking about it, and I thought, hey, why not? Let's go back and do a Torg match. I'm sure I'll come back and do Torg matches um, a lot, probably, especially as we get closer to next year's event, because uh, I I can't wait. I'll just be I'll, I'll be too excited for it. I'll want to go back and relive uh, 2023. So, uh, but this time we're gonna do Packy versus Snipe. We're gonna analyze it from Snipe's perspective. To be totally honest, I don't know how long this match actually is. I didn't uh, preview it. But uh, I just wanted to do, uh, to get into it. And so let's go ahead with that. Let's do this thing. All right. Help We're us counting out, down Torg. already. It's three, <laughs> two, one. Pills. Okay. First move. I don't know. This is one of those ones where it's not really clear cut. It's so easy when you get a split pill that has like a perfect spot. Like we could totally put a, a yellow red like right here. We would love that. That would be amazing. Uh, obviously it's not that simple. We've got double yellow to work with here. So, um, it's tough. It's hard to say. You could definitely prioritize maybe doing double yellows at the edge here. The advantage of that be being that, uh, you know, you're prioritizing the edge, of course. But the other thing is that since our only other real move that I can see is to put the double yellow here vertically, my big issue with this is that if you look at this sort of, uh, these columns here, columns five through seven, um, you sort of have some setups for almost any split piece you can think of. You have like red, blue that can go here. You have uh, blue, yellow that can go here. And you have yellow, red, oh, no, yellow, red that can go here. Um, so it's nice to have all these options on this top line. It's actually very fortunate to see on a top line. The problem is that if you go ye yellows like this, you've broken all of those setups because now putting the blue, those pills in those places, putting like a, a blue, no, I didn't want to clear everything, sorry. But if you put a blue yellow like this, uh, oh, that's not the right one, there we go. It'll clear the yellows and you don't have a combo opportunity anymore. So it actually breaks up your board quite a bit. So I think this yellow, double yellow move here, really a bad idea for a lot of reasons that might not be obvious right away. I think the play is actually just to do this, even though this isn't like amazing, uh, it's still better. It doesn't really ruin any setups. Like you still have a yellow red setup here. It doesn't break the blue yellows. It still gives them a good place to go. Uh, so I think that's going to be the best move here. I'll see what these guys do. Okay. So snipe, uh, correctly, I think puts the double yellow here. Packy unfortunately makes this move. And so this yellow red that's coming, yes, we can put it, we're not gonna go through every move like this, by the way, but the yellow red can still go here for him. But if a blue yellow comes and we might see that happen, uh, he's got really no what nothing to do but like empty clear this. And then he'll have no real good follow-ups for yellow anytime after that. So uh, we are gonna be watching this from Snipe's perspective, like I said, but I just wanted to point that out. The, now that you can see the, the two different positions that I was talking about, and why they, uh, what, what the pros and cons are of both of these. It is nice to maybe break things down in the center here a little lower, but it doesn't, there's not a lot of yellow even below these blue reds to get to. So, yeah, I think that Snipes definitely made the better opener here. We'll see how that pans out. All right, we've got combo. Yeah, see, he made this blue yellow clear here that I was just saying. And now you can see here already, he's going to have to put this double yellow right down in the spot because and it, it's going to be the only way he can make more combo opportunities from here without breaking anything. It might have even been, he looks like that's where he's going to put it. It might have even been better to put it like this, just to keep it in the center. But uh, I mean, it's pretty much the same. This might honestly be better just to keep the, the column clear, but it's pretty close either way. It's not like super big difference. And Snipe already is making some huge moves on his board. He's got lots of combo setups he can make here. 
Looks like he's already a pill ahead, or maybe even two pills ahead of Packy. We'll see what he does here. Happening on both sides of the board. Who's gonna get the first one? Wow, just finds a triple into a double. And then another combo to help take it down. That's crazy. He's already making... It's so hard to even review him because he plays so fast, but... Yeah, I'll try to find the important points here. Seeing this board on a whole nother level, it's amazing to see... I'm uh, gonna get another combo with these yellow blues. And he's just going control. off. Like, he's so good at this, too. Is to and just uh, the can, keeping the pressure on. And the, as you can see, like, the difference in the boards already is huge. Just from maybe the, even the opening move making a big difference. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Pack setting up combos. That's literally yeah. all he's been doing the whole time. Trying to get himself out of the danger zone. Uh, you can tell he knows exactly what's at stake here. But, uh, yeah, getting double those setup that he found there. Down, and both Fortunately, loses his combo there. there yeah. I love that move. I just wanted to mention that. I saw this double blue clear here, or this this blue clear here, and the red kind of just unfortunately falls down to the bottom into this spot. And I was thinking to myself, I wonder if he's going to go for this T, if he's actually going to set that up after the red doesn't fall into place. Uh, and he actually, if you watch, there, immediately makes this move. This blue looks awkward as heck because it's just kind of not connected to any other anything blue. It's not really forming a group or anything like that. But uh, it sets him up for this T wonderfully, and it's just going to open up the center of the board, and it's going to bring the second column down quite a bit. It's going to give him a lot more space and keep up the pressure on Packy, who now that as well we're paused just to check in on his board. He's actually recovered quite well here. Uh, has some combo opportunities going now with these blue yellows here in this spot. A blue yellow here is a great combo. He has blue red opportunities on this spot. His right side is pretty dominated by blue, but that's you know that's fixable. He's uh, definitely not stuck at the top of the board or anything like that. So he's uh, keeping things even after a bit of a rocky opening. Still definitely a good recovery from him. Yeah, absolutely, especially on that high speed. You know, playing high. Oh, and he sets up. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even think, I, I was just saying this blue was awkward, but I wasn't even thinking about using it to set up like a, a drop combo. So that's really smart from him. This blue garbage right here in this spot uh, definitely fell down in an opportune place. And then he got the blue reds he needed, but he actually saw this. I was going to say after we saw the T get cleared out, I assumed he was just going to clear it. And then these reds would be left kind of left here, not really doing much. These two reds in this spot, uh, as you can see, but he... The, the beauty of this drop is that he's going to clear it now. He's going to clear it with the T. He's going to get a triple. Uh, he's going to open up the center of his board even more. Uh, so, yeah, that's a huge find from him to see this. Because, I mean, you could easily just put the red-blue in this spot, which is honestly what I thought he was going to do. <laughs> but uh, he ended up finding the, the better play here, which is going to be a huge difference, I think. Let's uh, let's watch it fall. Very dangerous. Oh, um, towards that's the top awesome. Of your board. Big combo. Get some opportune oh, garbage nice. here to clear away his Back. that mess on but, column uh, six. Already setting up another sort of horizontal drop combo like that. Is gonna send a combo right back thanks to the garbage. Oh man, these combo steps he's finding and he's doing them so quickly. Like finding this red blue, it, there's no obvious move for this, but he finds a great one, which is just to set up the red blue uh, on this little uh, platform here. And then he can just uh, make a combo out of it. I think that's the only way to really make a combo out of this piece. So that's huge for him. Right back, thanks to the garbage that he got. Yeah. And the thing about Packy, you know, um, I was playing red, yellow. Uh, another thing, just to quickly note, the way that he turns this pill up like that, it would be so easy to think that, like, oh, you know, you could have just put the red, yellow like this. And I'm sure a lot of people would do that. And I would never consider that to be a huge mistake or anything it's like yeah the yellow will clear out it's an extra piece he didn't need but it clears it away it's fine but the fact that he turns it up like this so that the yellow can fall down and add to this group i mean it's again it's a very small difference but it makes it makes a big difference in the long run um maybe not necessarily in this case like we'll see what happens but uh, looking for little things like this is uh a bigger deal than you think just little efficiencies where you think oh it doesn't really matter um sometimes they won't matter but sometimes it'll be really important to not to miss those things and to catch them and take advantage so i think little things like that are what make uh, top players like snipe so good so if even if you see little things like this in your games pay attention to them they are important um and you will you even if you don't necessarily see the difference um it will make you a better player in the long run it will translate to better results um, overall, I would think so. Uh, yeah, small thing, but uh, look look for little ways to increase your efficiency, like he just did. 
um, and and that will make a huge difference. Uh, it could be the difference between a piece of garbage blocking a setup and have, having more space to deal with it just because you got that one extra piece in place to make a clear you wouldn't have otherwise made or something like that. So definitely uh, something to keep in mind when you're playing your own games for sure. In a, in a warm up earlier, and when he gets garbage, he just looks at it and he's like, okay, and immediately thinks of places where he can put that. <laughs> and that combo just proved that's an that's unfortunate blue piece of garbage here. And, uh, another combo, and then he doesn't really. Com this is actually really not good for Snipe. He's built up this combo here, and this blue garbage is falling in column five. Obviously, not the best column for this to happen, and it's uh, pretty high up here. The only issue is that because of this red yellow setup here, he doesn't really have a lot of horizontal ways to address it. Um, seeing what he's done here, this garbage, blue garbage, has fallen here now. He has a yellow red in the shoot at the moment, but uh, if he can just get, I think his best bet here is probably just to try to make this blue horizontal just to skim off the top and unlock all of his setups, and then he can get right back to comboing. So we'll see if that ends up being the play. It's really going to depend on how the pills fall. Uh, let's see what he does here. Combo for Packy. Uh, Another piece of garbage. He's getting himself warmed up. <laughs> this red yellow move is so good because he is going for that blue horizontal, absolutely. And you know it because when this red piece fall is going to fall down and clear out when he may finally makes his horizontal. Blue yellow is obviously what he'd like, but even if he's forced to take it out with another blue red or a blue blue, even in this spot right here, this red is still going to fall and make a combo. So even when trying to uh, to clean up this this mess, he's still making combos out of it. So he's playing this really well. He's dealing with this. Uh, Unfortunate garbage, just expertly. Another that was a cross clear. Uh, it's unfortunate though that this combo He's kind of brings things down. Now he has things. no platform here to make this double blue horizontal. So we'll see what he decides to do. Out. Yeah, and uh, Snipe just trying to get down the board as best he can. Would love to see some red and some. Yes. So he this red yellow might look strange. It's literally just to create a platform so that he can make this blue horizontal again. This horizontal is so key to his entire board right now. It's going to make a combo. It's going to unlock all of this garbage that's messed up uh, his board here because the red will fall and then the blue will fall. And then all this garbage, uh, I shouldn't motion with my hand. You can't see that. <laughs> but all this garbage that's on top of this combo is all going to fall right down. And it looks dangerous now. But if he can just get this blue horizontal here, um, he will bring the board all the way back down and he'll be right back into it so yeah that's why he's this red yellow move is so key it just gives him the platform he needs to make this blue horizontal um as soon as he gets his next blue piece which i hope is not too far away he has a double red as well i expect he's he might put it uh maybe like right here perhaps so that he can make another combo which is a little dangerous but you know we'll, we'll see what he does let's not get too deep into the weeds on what he might do let's just uh keep going blue for snipe Oh, he does, and then he ends up clearing it because it's so dangerous. Then he finally makes his blue horizontal, and as you can see, the, the board falls. He's not out of the woods by any means. Like, this board still is not great. But because he's been able to keep up the pressure, Packy's board's not looking great either. Um, he's uh, definitely, I'd say Packy's maybe slightly ahead board health-wise, but if he is, it's not by much. He has a pretty big valley here. The board's not very even, and... Uh, he has some opportunities here. If he can complete this blue horizontal, that'll be good. But I think Snipes probably just got less opportunities at the moment. Um, but we'll see how he decides to play that. Out of the danger zone. That is a fire combo. And uh, he's going to set up for another Finding one. Finding horizontals where he can. Aki's going to get a get drop it. triple. This column seven is just kind of disgusting. This whole traffic light situation, these five pieces right here, in this spot right here, very... Uh, not great. I mean, I don't. This red is about to fall and make this yellow horizontal, which is an idea I might have had, uh, thought about. Totally impossible. Um, yeah, this might be rough going from snipe from here. The garbage has really not been kind to him. So, again, let's we'll see how he decides to deal with this. Um, I, I assume some kind of horizontal is going to be involved, but honestly, I think if it were me, I would just try to figure something out on the fly, see what the pill where the pills take me, because. There is no like obvious plan or solutions coming up with this, especially with all this garbage falling still. So let's see what he does. Uh, it's going to be garbage on garbage right now for both these two players. As, uh, like that, he tries to make this horizontal combo, combo but now the red is in the way, combos. and he's going hard for it. He's probably just going to put the blue here right just to take the board down. Yep. Oh, look at this! Nearly a full. Line <laughs> from, from... I just go back and watch that clear real quick. Double, double, 
getting two double reds in a row is pretty opportune, but like, wow. Yeah, that's a huge, uh, that's almost entirely across the screen and it's going to make a combo here too. So I, I mean, I don't know how, how planned this was, but uh, that was a nice find from Snipe. Oh, look at sure. this, nearly a full line clear from, from Snipe. Wow. And he is well below the danger zone. But Packy says, no, I'm going to put you right back up. Yeah. Packy would really love to get that red horizontal. Oh, uh, sorry, back I up. missed yeah. this. I, I'm assuming that the point of this is because if he can, well, he actually, with these yellows, he, he could really do it. He really needs a double yellow. Um, but I guess the point of this red here is it sets up a combo if he can horizontal this yellow piece out from here. And maybe he can do that and make an L out of it if he gets lucky. But the problem is, with no platform in this space right here, he's going to need a double yellow across to do that. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan, personally, of any sort of setup that requires a double. Any kind of double dependency like that is awkward, especially in NES. Because uh, for anyone who's not aware, in the NES version of the game, you get double pieces that is pieces of the same color on both halves about half as often as you get split pieces which are pieces of two different colors so because of that banking on getting a double especially a specifically colored double which it usually would be uh is just not a great position to be in it's possible he'll just fill in here and then he'll make a platform somehow to do it manually but um yeah I, I don't know if he has a better option than, than this, unfortunately. It's possible, looking at it now, if he wanted to, for example, do like a blue-red like this. This is a fat log setup. <laughs> uh, that was pretty hard to see. I didn't see that. It took me about like maybe 20 seconds of looking at this board to find that, which obviously you don't have time for in a real game. But that's an interesting move to see if, if you could get a, a, a fat log setup to drop this out. And then after that, maybe this yellow horizontal situation uh, will become open and then that'll drop this down uh, so you know and these yellows will fill in the gap and already fill in one of these spaces for you so if you do that actually yeah if you do that you, all you would need is just actually this one one yellow piece to fill in here and then you would totally open up your board and it would be pretty good uh, so I, that's a pretty crazy move though I don't think I would be able to find that in a real game obviously snipe decided to go this way because he's maybe a little more focused on the top line and he's focus on this yellow garbage isn't sure what to do with it so he just went for a combo setup um it's risky we'll see what happens here let's keep going packy would really love clearing out the yellow horizontal. here so now he really uh, needs wow, really this nice blue drops it you packy. can see the head shake from snipe he knows he knows that's how unfortunate that is yes, indeed. makes the combo at the top and now things are starting to get fast and snipes at the top of the board do you want to know what they're shouting about? Check out the DRMC2. Yeah, because we have no idea. <laughs> All right, more combos coming down on Snipe's side. That's He's the match I was commentating. Down. That's what the, they're screaming about. But don't ask me because I literally can't remember what it was. <laughs> it was six months ago. Give me a break, okay? Uh, seven months ago even. Dang, wow. Time's flying. Maybe we're closer to Torg than we think. I can't wait. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh... So let me go back a second because I just want to see what happened there. All right, more he manages to get this side, side of the board cleared out. Down. He goes for this oh, last red, and this yellow is just so unfortunate. Whenever this happens, whenever you just like go for it, I guarantee you this next red yellow is going to knock this down to Cape safe. But he happened to get garbage at the worst possible time and in the worst possible column. Um, he has some horizontal ideas here. So if he can make it, if he can get a yellow piece right here, he can clear this out and drop it down. That's probably going to be his best bet if I. You know, from what I can see, um, let's see what he does here. Packy with some dangerous garbage. Oh. Yeah, he's nice. just filling it in just uh, to get Spendo that horizontal, just to stay alive. Gonna help him out. Gets this double yellow. That is gonna be critical. Look at that. Beautiful. So he's cleared this down. This this red here, uh, may might look you know like an inopportune, but uh, he's probably just gonna clear these reds out and put two more red pieces here. Blue will drop down and make a combo. So this is perfectly fine. I don't think it's that bad for Snipe. And it also, the boards don't look super great. The virus count is definitely in Packy's favor, but we'll see what he Snipe can do to here. Bring that tower down, just doing, making, doing whatever he can to stay alive I like this move. He saw, I don't know if he Packy saw the red coming. Nine. Yeah, he didn't mean to do yeah, that. And, he uh, wanted to make a combo. He's starting to panic a little, a little bit now. This blue-yellow here was definitely a misdrop. Uh, unfortunate, but like the speed's starting to get very fast. He's two speed faster than Packy at this point because he's had to play at the top of the screen for so long. This is the other issue with um, losing the opening. Uh, he didn't really. He actually had a better opening than Packy, I would say. But shortly after that, he he quickly he he uh, he quickly fell behind. Um, and the issue with 
falling behind in the opening is that uh, even if you stay alive, even if you recover, you're now two speed higher than your opponent, and that can come back and bite you. Uh, especially even if, let's say, for sake of argument, Snipe drags this out into the end game, it's still going to be uh, it's still going to be rough because he's going to be at a higher speed than Packy. It's just going to be more difficult for him to execute in the end game. Um, so. Yeah, it's it's just because you're putting pills down faster at the top of the screen rather than your opponent who has a, a huge board here that he's totally cleared out and has more time to drop the pills down. And you just naturally get to a higher speed more quickly when you're at the top of the board um, from the start of the game. So uh, it's, it's not unwinnable for Snipe by any means. It doesn't look good. I don't remember uh, who wins this game, but we'll uh, we'll see what it's he does here. Not going to be too much of a problem yet, but... If it comes down to a virus clear, oh. clearance mode, you saying then, what I was uh, saying. <laughs> that's going to take a little bit of time for Pack. Yeah, uh, you know. The advantage Snipe has, has here, though, is that because uh, if he can keep um, making combos going, or because Packy is so much further down the board, nice his combos are more damaging. The so, some stuff in there. He's uh, again, get his, it's definitely not. It's going to be difficult though. for Snipe, but it's not unwinnable by any means. Followed by another double combo. He's going to send some garbage over Snipe's way. And half the more garbage falling. This whole goalpost situation is really not great. It's unfortunate that his sides are having so many issues. It feels like Snipe's really going to have trouble here. Uh, obviously, he's going to find some good moves, but... Um, oh, I didn't like that. Uh, but, like, he just has no room to maneuver here. He's very high up on the board, and even if before this had filled in, like, the sides are so high up that, like, it feels like he has no... Place to go whereas Packy has so much space on his side of the board as you can see here he uh he can just basically make setups wherever he needs and he's obviously way ahead in virus count so i think uh, i'm sure there's something snipe could have done differently we can maybe go back and look at that but um generally speaking he, he made good plays but uh it just didn't work out like he could he just spent too much time at the top of the board maybe he could have prioritized um uh, making space in the right places a little better but uh yeah, hard to say what he could have done. Let's see how he if he can try to try to bring this back here. <laughs> Is this slowly becoming less and less winnable for Snipe though? Or Packy with the stunlock on Snipe. Snipe's gonna have an opportunity for. A... Oh, he had uh, an opportunity here with this red blue. I think he was just Snipe's maybe have an stressed. But this blue red, I think I would have put it. Uh, and I did see this right before he dropped it. Put it like this. It makes a red uh, T opportunity for this yellow red that's coming in. Just a way to make a combo. It's always so good to be able to, when you're in these spots, to find a combo somewhere. Because as soon as you do that, it stunlocks the opponent. They can't combo you back. Even if your garbage doesn't block anything, that stunlock time is so valuable. They just give you room to breathe and give you time to just get your ducks in a row and figure out a way out of your the mess that you're in. Because uh, if your opponent is not under any sort of pressure while you're trying to just fix everything with empty clears, they're just going to keep comboing you and putting you under more pressure. Uh, you know, we all know, we've said it many times here on this stream, co combos are s one of the most important things uh, in the game. So finding one anywhere you can, even in these spots, is so important. And I think he missed a critical opportunity here. This could have maybe been the start of something. Um, instead, he just makes an empty clear and gives Packy more time. <laughs> For uh, Sweet D, he elects not to take it. Just trying to stay alive here against Packy, who's only got 13 viruses remaining. Well, he'll find a double there, but this is slowly alive, but this, this is slowly slipping away from him. Really That's a nice board. combo, though. I, I, I don't know. I, now he's just to oh, fill in hey, this horrible column. Yeah, this is just a, uh, really unfortunate. He but he's finding it, things it, but take, as best uh, he can. Rid of this red in column seven. Now that uh, this double yellow is going to be critical to helping that happen. Now a red blue will set that combo off, and he gets it. If Snipe's gonna let him play, he is. As you can see, like things are already getting sort of halfway up Packy's board again. If he can keep making combos like this, he gets yeah. some opportune Snipe pieces. He could maybe start That's some kind of comeback. It's a real. For Packy. Let's go. But Packy's so far advanced in his end. He's like basically at his end game now. It's pretty difficult to recover from this. Yeah, and look at this. He's got a, a nearly fully across the He's board just going to do some setup. crazy shit at the top of the board to survive. And uh, Pack would love another double blue to get get his column eight tucked right, way down, but it's not going to happen, and he's going to have to uh, start under clearing from yeah, a little bit brutal. further down. Not going to be a real problem for him as uh, he is down to just two viruses. Oh, he tried to get this yellow over, but the speed's so fast. He's now four up over Packy. 
do literally anything and he just can't yeah the speed is just went up it went up to 56 by the end it was way too much and he just topped out so yeah i as far as uh what he could have done differently i mean there was one mistake i pointed out there where he could have made that combo even something little like that could have really helped him to uh to come back into the match before that though he i mean i was pretty impressed with this play especially his opening um i think you'd have to really deep dive here to try to find maybe safer plays combo opportunities that were missed um and obviously hindsight is 2020 20 when you know what the pills are going to be but uh and you have all the time in the world to think about it obviously <laughs> but um yeah sometimes games just go that way Packy just played a great game and uh he recovered from that uh really uh, unfortunate opening that he had but where snipe took an early lead and, and he was able to convert and snipe just was not able to uh to, to get out of the top out situation um, he just sort of stayed at the screen, top of the screen, far too long. And uh, th that just happens sometimes. But anyway, let's uh, move on to the next one. This is a five-game game set, so we got to keep this yeah. moving. We still have potentially four more of these to do. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, All right. Double blue. This is also not really a straightforward opening either. So... Um, Obviously, there's some blues in the center here, and we'd like to group them all together with our double blue pill. But what is really the best way to do that? Let's go through the options and see. Uh, we've got like laying it flat like this. Um, doesn't really give us any sort of uh, combo setup. In fact, it even breaks this yellow blue setup here that we have. So I don't love that option. There's also the horizontal or the vertical setup like this. Again, not really setting anything up. Not really accomplishing much it's raising our our column five and if we don't get any blues after this and garbage falls up here that would be pretty terrible um for no real possible reward we're taking a lot of risk by doing that um so i think the really the best option as counterintuitive as it might look is to just do an empty clear here just empty clear this away um you have some more options here it clears away some blue um you have the yellow blue here you don't really have a blue red space but you didn't really have a blue red uh, set up before anyway and uh it just makes a little more space so that if garbage starts to fall you have a little more room to breathe uh, i don't see a really great option here yeah, maybe you could try putting the blues like this potentially just to create a blue red setup that's an option i suppose but i think if it were me i think i would just empty clear here and uh, try to make a little more space on my board and hope that uh, i get to a red yellow combo or something ideally but yeah, we'll see what these guys do. I'm interested to see how they take this because I'm not even really super confident about my move. So I'm interested to see what they do here. All right, we get the reset and a double blue. <laughs> there you go. Snipe takes the, the empty clear, uh, whereas Packy takes the blue flat. So the blue flat's not terrible. Like I said, it doesn't just doesn't accomplish very much. It's He doesn't have any setups after this with blues. Um, if he gets a blue yellow, he's just going to create a lot of drop time for himself. If he was to put a blue yellow, say like here, um, and creating drop time is not great in versus obviously this isn't speed running where you're losing you don't have time to lose per se but any time you give up against your is more time your opponent gets to to get ahead and to make a combo against you in time where you're kind of locking yourself out that's why garbage is so bad is because it locks you out of playing the game until it's finished falling so why would you create drop time for yourself it's like you're giving yourself garbage <laughs> you're stun locking yourself right uh, so it's not uh, ideal to put yourself in a spot where you're going to take drop time unless it's really worth it. But uh, yeah, it looks like Snipe is going to take the option that I that I chose, which is just to do the empty clear, make a little space, open up uh, some more uh, spots for garbage to fall if he should uh, fall behind in this opening. And yeah, just kind of bank on red yellows. I think that's just the best bet here. Blue to start off with. That's lovely. Let's see what these players do with these boards. Uh... Ooh, I actually liked this move here with this double red. He didn't empty clear on the side. He didn't break his combo. He actually just puts it right here, which is great because I think you're going to see it in a second, but he's going to get red blues that he can put like this, and it will create a combo opportunity. Now he has a red blue setup, so awesome find from him on that. With these boards, uh, first combo going to come down from Snipe. And it will get him first combo, and oh, then a and second combo the after that. Combo. It's going to double stack oh, on, on that center column. And three, he did it again oh, already because of that one uh, difference that he made in his opening. He's now gotten a triple garbage stack on the fourth column, and Packy's one row away from topping out, and we're like 10 seconds into the game. That's the difference between getting first combo and not getting it sometimes. It's so huge. So 
I think honestly, the the opening really actually made a diff a huge difference in this one. I don't know that Packy's going to necessarily top it right away, or that he's going to lose right on the spot, but uh, definitely not the spot you want to be in ten seconds into the game. So let's see if he can recover from this. Oh, that's close, but we've seen Packy pull out. No, he instantly gets the garbage right on the top. Now, obviously, <laughs> obviously that's very lucky, and you can see on Packy's face, he's just like, okay, come on. Like, he got the fourth column garbage four times in it. Well, three of them, uh, two of them were guaranteed, but you got it twice in a row. Uh, and then, but yeah, like, that's the diff little, oh, that's why I like focusing on the opening a lot. I feel like focusing on the opening really helped me with my game because it, it puts you in positions to do stuff like this. When you have that little edge in the opening and you get a piece of lucky garbage and then it just snowballs from there. Obviously, this is the most extreme possible example of that, but, uh, this is just a perfect example of how important the opening can be because uh, you definitely will not get games like this if you are lagging behind in the opening and you're not getting first combo most of the time. So, yeah, uh, well done by Snipe. He played the opening great and he got massively rewarded for it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, there's not really much to analyze here other than to say that, yeah, his opening was great and uh, it probably won him this, this uh, particularly quick game. Uh, so, yeah, let's just move on to the next one. Snipe pops out, Packy. One game to one. What an amazing play by Snipe to get the early top out on Packy, which historically is the way that Packy's gone down in the past. Wow, that was something. That's true. I just want to comment on what John Deflindo, the commentator, just said there. He just said that that's historically how Packy's gone out. I don't know that that's true. I mean, but I don't know that it's false either. I'd really be interested to uh, to check the tapes on that one. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Wow. Okay. Well, we get a blue yellow at the start, which is really good news because there's not a lot of access to red here. And the access we do have doesn't really lend well to combos whatsoever. Um, so we'll worry about that when we get the red pills. But as for this blue yellow, what would be the best thing to do here? So you actually have so many options because of the abundance of blue and yellow here. So you can do uh, a lot of things. You can go like blue, yellow here if you really wanted. Um, you can do, uh, well, actually there's not really as much as you would think. The biggest one that I think I would do is blue, yellow, like this. Um, the biggest reason for that is because, uh, there's reds underneath it. And like I said, there's not a lot of access to reds on this board. And if you get a quick blue, yellow short stack here, then you will expose these reds. And now suddenly you do have opportunities to do like a red, blue setup or a red, yellow setup, or sorry, excuse me, or a red, yellow setup. Uh, like this um, this blue will still be here of course but you could even do another blue red setup uh, from here once these blue yellows are gone so I think this is the setup you would want to prefer and that's probably why I would put a blue yellow here as opposed to putting it on the right um, just because first of all this doesn't really combo very well now that I'm looking at it um, the other op option you might think of is to under tuck it here I don't love doing this technically it's uh, you know safer quote unquote because it lets it, you don't have to stack up the, the setup is quite as high on the board and if garbage should fall you're not quite as high up but honestly that's not really a huge issue because even if you get like blue yellow blue yellow and say a red piece falls here that's fine because you still have the underclear here to uh to just sort of bail yourself out of this even if garbage should fall and block this combo it's fine because you can just underclear anyway so I wouldn't worry too much about stacking up too high or worrying about keeping the stack down in a case like this. When you have an underclear, it's okay to leave it open because even if garbage blocks you on top, um, you can still just underclear if you have to. And tucks honestly take quite a long time. Obviously, you can get very good at it and do it more quickly than other people if you practice doing fast tucks, but that does it still takes more time and is way more difficult than just dropping it on top. And because it's okay to leave the underclear open, there's not a huge lot, huge benefit to doing like a tuck here or anything like that. I don't think that's particularly appealing to me to do that. So let's see how these guys decide to take this opening. Game three already underway. Yeah. So Packy actually decides this move, this yellow blue, which which works as well. Uh, it's a yellow blue setup, which is totally fine. But I think that um, the move that Snipe did that we were talking about is definitely better, just because. Now he has a red blue here. He has opportunities still to put red blue underneath. He could put the red blue here or better yet. He could even tuck it in this far if he really had to just because there's really no other good place to put it. 
I can protect the blue red in here because another red blue can then just go right in its place and everything is just sort of linking to some kind of group of the similar color. So yeah, this unfortunately is blocked off every opportunity pack. He's going to have to do that. And I, this blue red is just going to be in an awkward spot. And if he loses first combo now, because he's done that, uh, and wherever he puts this red gets even more garbage on top of it, it, he can easily just start flying behind right away. So let's see if Snipe can manage to do that. No, no break for these two. Wow, he actually doesn't tuck. He just puts it straight down as quickly as possible. Exact setups, um, just about. Going for the horizontal yeah, got, uh, setup early. Wow. Clearing it away when the pieces don't come. Uh, but he's gonna get a combo out of and then he finally knocks that down. That's actually huge. I just want to point that out. I just want to see where that stemmed from. So he just got this blue garbage just randomly on this spot, uh, which obviously blocks him off. And he has this double yellow here. Um, whenever you get garb early garbage, if you have the platforms to do a horizontal, which he does here, if you see some like the opportunity to do this, he, obviously he's going to put the yellows up here to 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 make a combo out of this garbage which is great but even if you don't do that even if we just get an empty blue skim here that's still pretty good um it's less liable to getting blocked and uh it is just um because of the combo potential it's just awesome to to make horizontals out of these weird early garbage drops if you can manage it if you don't have the platforms to do it it gets a little more dicey but um, yeah, you'll see a lot of good players do this where they get this early garbage and it's like, cool, I'm going to make a horizontal out of it because it's just, especially at the top of the board, uh, just one of the most convenient ways to, uh, to deal with weird pieces like this that block you vertically like that. I'm just about. And he'll put the L on top and then he's going to go out yeah, of his way. Got, uh, wow. He ends up clearing I it away, but he ends up. He ends up getting there one way or the other. He makes yellow garbage here in the center, yeah, but I mean, well sometimes the pieces right just don't allow you to make it as clean as you'd like. Already having some trouble with garbage down. falling. I think, right. I think he especially wants this he yellow horizontal. Wow. Especially I wonder if he meant to do that. He gets this blue horizontal, which drops the yellows down and still maintains the yellow setup. That's really lucky. Unless he did that on, he saw that on purpose and just went for this, in which case that's, that's really good. That's really smart. Probably right, especially as he gets what he needs for And then the combo, this blue falls right and it gives him the opportunity for a combo. For That's well done. Uh, this blue garbage is really unfortunate. He doesn't really have platforms to do it horizontally, like I was saying earlier. But um, yeah, it's, it's really tough. I'm not sure how I would attack this from here. Again, sometimes if it's not obvious, you just have to play and see where the pills take you and see if you get, you know, he could just get a, two double blues in a row and just clear it off. But you never know if you're going to get that kind of luck. But uh, if you don't, I wonder if he's maybe going to put this yellow like uh, this to just create a platform to maybe make a blue T in this sort of a shape. But uh, I'm not really sure if that's even a smart idea because it will keep you, it'll, it'll put you at the top of the board really early. So let's just see what he does here. Down on snipe and, oh, that's no, gonna be tough oh, he gets snipe. the double blue he's though. That's huge. Combo, though. And then he and get, clears this col this uh, column off really quickly. Yeah, and if you've been uh, if you've been watching Dr. Mario at any, he just addresses his dying, high up columns. You know, he luckily Mackie gets the doubles he needs. I'm interested to see how he would have attacked it if he hadn't gotten those because right that makes it why that pretty is. trivial to clear them away. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna get another combo and another another combo for Packy. He's just setting up another one here. As soon as he gets a blue, he's going to... Well, he's going to drop it down this way. He didn't have to do that. I actually think that might have been worse than what he had the potential to do. Uh, he puts the red-blue like this. I thought he was going to put it uh, just straight up like that. It does create a red piece of garbage when it falls into this row here. But he's going to get a triple. And it's going to create like a little less drop time for him as, as a result of that. So, yeah, I thought that was kind of a weird way to do it. It just creates additional drop time. It doesn't clear out any viruses, makes less progress on the board. It's just slower. Maybe it was just an oversight on his part, and he, or he just really didn't want to make garbage on this column. I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. Do about that. That is. There we go. There's a fat log. You or a, a, a horizontal setup that he wanted didn't turn out to be a fat log. Uh, he's gonna get a cross clear, and uh, that's gonna help him uh, down this board. I just want to uh, go back a second. Part of me kind of wanted when he did this double yellow here. Fat log. Or he did it here, excuse uh, he's gonna me. Get a cross clear and, Where was uh, it? That's gonna help him get down was it further back? Sorry. Length of time, you know that Packy after a loss is very scary. And right now Maybe he's not. proving why that is. 
Yeah, these two going head to head. And uh, oh, oh, Snipe takes out Packy's. Uh, another combo for Packy. I oh, know, we're, we're, we're way further back here. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to go back this far. There we go. There's a fat log. You are a, a, a horizontal setup. That this, when this double red, this, this is what I want to see. This double red is going to fall. Uh, he puts the double red in this spot here. And I wonder if it would have been better to put it here. This is obviously risky. This big, like these huge vertical, like rod combos are not great, especially if, you know, the garbage falls on top and really blocks you and totally uh, blocks that column out. But other than that, I think that it sort of prioritizes clearing this away because it's already looking dangerous. And I don't think I would want garbage to even fall even on like this spot, to be honest, because even that is not great. Yeah, you have blue yellow opportunities if you go for like that, but uh, I don't. Uh, I would just want to prioritize clearing this rather than hauling at the center of the board. So I think that could have been different. He wanted, didn't turn out to be a fat log. And then he ends up clearing this away, and now this clear. column, this column here, looks very ugly. It's very high up. Uh, it's quite a spire here that's blocked off at the top. I just wanted to address what the chat said here. IMO, anything more than a double combo is a waste of potential future combos unless your opponent is in danger of topping out or the start is very high. Um, eating up opponent time with drops equals best offense and defense. Yes, that I agree with. The other part that you mentioned about uh, anything... Oh, it's hard to see the chat with this white wall. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, but yeah, uh, I, what I would say is that um, that's not necessarily always true. I think doubles are good, but doubles are... Not necessary. like the damage that triples and quads will cause is, is not to be ignored for sure. Uh, the biggest advantage being that when you get a triple or a quad, you get guaranteed column four or five garbage. And that can be really important sometimes. Triple quad or more, no need. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that they're so much better than a double that doubles are a waste of time or anything like that. Um, but I do think that there's definitely a time and a place for triples and quads. Getting that guaranteed center column garbage is can't be ignored it can be very important especially if you know your opponent is getting high in the center or you know for a fact that uh, you want to block them off in the center um generally speaking gen center garbage is um in a vacuum i would say more damaging than getting garbage on any of the other columns to be honest Opponent tr drop time is the most valuable thing in versus yeah for sure i think uh if you the the drop the time and, and the stun lock is the biggest thing but Garbage is falling randomly on the board and blocking combo setups and everything is also very important. Definitely not to be ignored. So I just wanted to address that quickly. Doubles are not necessarily uh, the be all end all. They're very good. They're obviously the quickest combo to get. So they're very good for, for tempo purposes. But um, sometimes you, you know, sometimes you don't have to go that far out of your way to make a triple and getting co uh, garbage in the center columns um, is very, very good. So, yeah, I wouldn't write off triples and quads as being useless. They're definitely important, for sure. And uh, that's going to help him get down this board, but uh, not 100% out of the danger zone just yet. Oh, wow. So just, Can we just talk about that combo snipe just did? Board, but, uh, you not... finally addressed the spire I was talking about, and you got the perfect pills to do it. He got double red, red, yellow, and he did not waste that opportunity. This is so huge that he just gets to delete this. Otherwise, horrible... Uh, blight on his board and he gets to make a combo out of it too so really good find to prioritize that that garbage down on him yeah packy's packy's entire board is just so high his right side is almost completely cut off in column seven um snipes board it's not perfect wow he just finds a random t with his double column seven what uh, happened there Did he set oh he set up for that he put the, I didn't even see that. He had the yellow red here, and then I guess he, he probably saw the double red coming or knew he was going to set up for this, and then the double red showed up, and he was ready to go. Worth noting that if you see this and, and you pay attention and see the next double red going there, you might want to put this here just to clear this out, which could be interesting. But I think uh, getting the T is definitely just as good, especially if you are you don't see the next double red coming. You don't want to count on getting another double red like that. You just want to take the combo that you have. That's generally the best thing most of the time. Board, it's not perfect. He gets a nice sweet tea there, but it's. And he'll make the setup the anyway with the second double double red, so that's fine. As he's just making combo upon combo to. This blue is really unfortunate. Uh, it just the fact that it was blue too. If this was yellow, it wouldn't even be nearly as bad. He could he could have done that. Uh, whoops, he could have done like a yellow blue thing, something like this, and it would have dropped down. Um, 
But now, this, I think the best thing he can do is probably just to put a blue yellow maybe like that. Um, and then he can make like a blue T here to just clear all this gunk out. I guess the other possibility is just put blue any blue yellow like this. And then he'll get this blue to fall down. He'll make a double doing that. Um, I think I would wait and see what the next box says, honestly. But my first instinct was definitely to make a like a blue T situation here. So we'll see how snipe attacks this. Down on Packy. Yeah, Packy yeah, he wants to, to he, to the point that he made garbage here. He was he was saw the same thing. He's like, I want to make that T, uh, and then he gets a triple out of it too, no less. And this red is perfect. Uh, sets up to give him a little L action here. Um, I think he's definitely seeing that when he sees the garbage come down. Now he just needs a red to, to make that combo. Horizontal's getting some work done down this board. Yeah, he takes it uh, right he's away. Himself mostly out of danger. This column seven is a little rough, but uh, Snipe... Yeah, you know, double that, in the center. That's, that's the definitely Snipe good. Really to it. Yeah. Uh, he made an empty horizontal in the center yeah, that, there. That's just a testament to how Snipe... Honestly, don't hate this. A lot of people will probably sleep on moves like this. Just, oh, he just made an empty clear in the center of the board with a double pill that he could have put, you know, maybe down here or something. And maybe it would have contributed to a T or a combo, but honestly, little things like this are really not that bad. Making random horizontals like this, he's clearing two viruses with one pill, which efficiency-wise is very good. And while that's not the most important thing in Versus, um, it's not irrelevant, especially if this game goes long. Little things like that can uh, give him a make it you know give him an advantage in the end game um the other nice thing that that would that this does if i just go oops if i just go forward a little further in the, in the video now he has all this under clear opportunity if he gets a double red now he can clear all this away um so yeah it's uh it, it really opens up his board and it, and it makes progress which you shouldn't sleep on ever even if you're you know you can't obviously you can't make empty clears all day in the name of progress or you're just gonna get comboed out eventually but uh you know i think Efficient clears like that are, are probably better than they look. I think they're definitely underrated for sure. So if you see moves like that, I'm sure there are people who will see a move like that and they'll know they can do it and they'll just pass on that move because they think, well, it's not, it's an empty clear. It's not going to get me a combo. It's not going to send garbage. It's a bad move. I'm not going to do that. But I don't think it's that bad. I think it's actually better than you think. Pouring it to it. Yeah. Packy's in a really good situation now. Actually going to be able to clear out these reds horizontally. Drop down that tower a little bit. That column seven, though, still... Obviously, Packy's in trouble here. I'm assuming this yellow red is going to go here uh, into this spot. The blue. <laughs> but with a yellow red, and then you can do something like that. Or even uh, this potential to, like, yellow blue up like this as well. If he gets this sort of a setup, and then the blues will fall here, and it'll be a nice little blue red setup after that. Let's see what he does. Still a huge pain point for Packy. Yeah, oh, it goes the other way with it. That's also not too bad. Uh, prioritizing the edge is definitely important. He's got a fairly clean board, but uh, oh, nice Pat, triple that, from Packy. That triple from Packy is going to take a little bit of a toll. Uh, Snipes. Oh, I like that. He had some options here, but this <laughs> I hadn't really respected how important this blue horizontal was on his board. So that he found that. I was thinking more like, what are we going to do with this blue yellow? mess here are we gonna like put a blue in this are we gonna put a blue like right here and then we get like a blue yellow situation going on um and honestly i like his move way better because these yellows actually do make a combo setup if they can fall down to this yellow virus here and then he even makes a combo with the reds taking full advantage of this horizontal and clearing just blowing open the center of his board in the process so yeah that was huge from him he's gonna take a little bit of a toll uh, snipe still only have, uh, 41 speed, and this so blue falls into place, so he can uh, clear this head horizontally and maybe go from there, which he will do. Setting up for like a yellow cross yeah, here. Packy's he's got the double yellow. He Please. sees it. He knows it's coming. He wants it. This is what he's been waiting for. Uh, it's funny because he actually has a lot of places this yellow could go. He could prioritize the edge here. He could put it here. And I wonder if one of those moves isn't better. Probably not this move up here, but this red, this one here on the side. That honestly might be better than taking the cross, but I think you just take the cross. What am I saying? He's got to take the combo. Just go for it. Really cut off. Um, and he does, of course. Horizontally at this point. Oh, and he, he gets another double yellow, and he puts it here. Up for the double blue he's just bring that down. Yellow. Oh, I don't think he meant to do this here. I'm actually interested that he went for this line um, and went for the, uh, um, the to clear this yellow virus right here by filling in this vertical. I'm really wonder if he shouldn't have just taken that double yellow and put it where I had uh, talked about in uh, this column here uh, to make uh, to make a combo and then a yellow red to finish it off 
Maybe he just didn't want to stack up the side like that. Maybe he just wanted to prioritize bringing the right side down. Yeah, that might have been part of it. Unfortunately, this, I guarantee you that even though this does make a cool little horizontal setup, there's no way this was intentional. He definitely intended for this to be tucked in right here to bring this down. That's clearly what he was trying to plan, but it didn't work out. It's okay. Input errors happen. Can't do much about it. He's going to try to play on as best he can. And he'll find a nice little drop cross. Why not? Unfortunately, this double yellow... Oh, well... We're well past it. This double yellow fell down, and now it's in a really awkward spot. It's not even connected to that yellow uh, virus, which he's now cleared away. Um, so it's he's probably going to try to make something out of this. He'll probably go like yellow blue. Let's yellow blue. He'll probably do uh, yellow blue like this to sort of make a setup. And then if he ever gets a red piece here and then completes the horizontal, that's going to be huge for him. Um, that's the best combo setup that I can really see on his board here. So let's see if he goes for that. Maybe able to get some horizontals here. Just takes and the takes it on top. That's okay too. That's really that not that bad. Be now that this garbage has fallen though, it's kind of made this red yellow setup here no longer an option, of course, because it's been blocked. So uh he'll I'm assuming he's gonna go yellow red with it. Maybe he'll go uh not that one. Maybe he'll go yellow red with it. To try to let the head no, that's a bad move. This yellow red here. Don't don't listen to me on that one. There's no way he's gonna make this horizontal. The blue's gonna fall first, if anything. He's already committed to going vertically in the center. Let's forget about that. He should just go on the left side like this, I think. That's probably the best option. Snipe continuing to work oh, he gets more garbage. Course. Never mind, that changes things and, even uh, further, but yeah. Yeah, uh, it's it's this not is probably the best option. He'll take ago. his finally take this Pack's side combo. Has really been helpful for, uh, for Pack and uh, oh. it's causing a little bit of heartburn for Snipe. Yeah, but Snipe in a good situation here. Well, he was until Packy dropped down that tower, and it's a good thing because that garbage He's going to go for this, and he gets the double yellows. He doesn't really have much space really to put yellows. That. that was great. Loved that. Sorry, I have to go back and talk about that. This yellow-blue, there's literally no good place for it. Like, there's no yellow anywhere. So he ends up putting it, uh, as you saw, just like that. Obviously, he's going to get the exactly the best pill he needs, but I think you still have to make this play. Like, you have nowhere else to put yellows, and this has got to be the best spot for it that I can see. Um, it's setting up for, the like, a yellow-blue drop. And even if it doesn't, these blues are now connected, and if he gets, like, double two more red-blues after this, let's say, he can just go like that, and now he's dropped into a horizontal. That's huge. Really tough for Packy. But again, that but is, he'll make he does get what he needs. He makes that double combo in the center. Uh, that's gonna be some real damage. And oh wow! A huge combo is gonna and he's gonna get a, a double blue he needs, and now he's just gonna start stun locking. This is awful for for uh, um, Packy here with his uh, huge column six and seven just blocking off the right half of his board almost yeah, really completely. Like, it's gonna be really hard for him to come back from this. Board, though, a little bit of garbage there on the right side. But with uh, 11 viruses remaining, the Packy's 15. It's still anybody's game. Packy looking to clear out. Oh wow, he, he just. His... I said that, but now Packy has some like uh, opportunities to underclear here. I think it's still really difficult. And this blue virus that's in this spot right here, my God, just completely surrounded by an uh, impenetrable fortress of yellow and red. Like, it's not unclearable, but like that's not a good look for your end game. That's for sure. Call him five. Just needs one more to drop it down. Uh, Snipe would really love to combo and drop that off, but he's not going to be able to. Packy drops oh, down the that. tower. Wow, Packy oh, finds a sweet combo wow. there. Combo went but, a yeah, Snipe's just very far ahead. I assume the double uh, red's going to go on pack, the right here. Pack, no, he changes his mind. Interesting. He wants the horizontals. Nice. But, uh, snipe down to just now he's just sort of going through the process to get through his end game. And honestly, high, last week we talked a lot about how um, combos are really important to keep up on your end game. But he doesn't even really have to worry about that. Although it looks like he is. Fortunately, this yellow garbage will clear out. And maybe he can. Yeah, he's just gonna. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, he finds it. Never mind. I was gonna say that's so unfortunate, but I'm wrong. He actually found a way better line than I would have taken. Uh, so I was thinking, if he hadn't put this yellow red here, he goes red red, and then he goes red red, and that's game. Um, unfortunately, he put a yellow red down first because he didn't know he was going to get two double reds in a row. But uh, Snipe, bigger brain than I, will just put this down horizontally, and now the double red still finishes the end game. So uh, well done for Snipe. Yeah, he's going to go up two to one now after that. Game three, I can't believe I missed that. That's crazy. Five. But yeah, very smart finish from Snipe. All right. This is going to be 
Match point for Snipe. I really can't wait to watch the VOD of the DRMC2 because it sounds like some crazy stuff's going on. I'm going to have to find out what matches on DRMC2 that the other crowd is yelling about. I'm pretty sure I commentated it. So I should, I'm sure I'll remember it once I figure out what it is. But uh, maybe we'll review that another week. <laughs> anyway, going into game four, opening is a double red on this board. Um, I mean, my first instinct is to just lay it flat here. You get, uh, you know, sort of a double red setup going. It does eliminate this sort of double blue situation that you have, or this red blue situation rather that you have here, uh, which uh, is unfortunate to lose that opportunity by laying it flat. So maybe that's not the best option. Maybe you just want to clear out this red to go for some sort of yellow red horizontal combo. Um, you also could just prioritize the edge like this, but not great. This is a really hard end game or a really hard opening. Excuse me. Now that I'm thinking about it more. I think my instinct, I would have just laid it flat like this. I think that's what I would have defaulted to if I had to play this in a real game. That was the first thing that came to my head. You could also maybe tuck under here. That's kind of an option. I don't love that just because it. if you do, I think I'd rather clear the, the red here and go like this so that you have like more combo opportunities and not break this like doubled up uh, square of reds you've got here. But that's just me. Uh, I'm really interested to see what these guys do because I'm not really confident about this opening at all. Twitch. All right, double red. <laughs> Even Snipe has a second, a second thoughts about what he wants to do. Did you see that? He's like, right. he started to put it over, and he almost did the move that I was not super excited about, and then he changed double his red. mind and he went like this. I wonder if he went through the same thought process that I did, where he was like, yeah, you just put the reds together, and then last minute he was like, wait, no, 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 that sucks. I want to put, the, I want to clear this red away, get these yellows going. <laughs> That's really funny. I really wish I could say, uh, I could tell what he was thinking in that moment to see if he was thinking the same thing that we were. Um, but yeah, these double yellows, he, he's not going to, um, uh, he's not going to go for the horizontal now. He's probably just going to stack the yellows here now that he's done that with the red. He'll he'll do this and hope for a red yellow combo to be, to get open the opening. Let's see what he does here. Another double red would allow for. And they both get the a, same uh, yellow red. Drop combo, but that's not. That's not great garbage. Obviously, you never want to see center column garbage, but. Uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be too big of an issue so far. What either player is doing? Both of them have managed to drop garbage. Whoa, he stacks up. I feel like that can't be right. Let me go back real quick. Yellow, blue. He's gonna lay it right here. The madman. I understand like the logic behind this because he was he's thinking oh horizontal combo, but like I guess you don't really have any other good spot to put this. But surely you can just take your combo right like I, I see you can just take the combo here the reds clear the blue falls down it's a lot of drop time but when you do this move that he's about to do that's like really dangerous he's blocking off his center his board is now suddenly really high this doesn't immediately contribute to anything he's going to need a lot of yellows to build this up into an actual combo and if any garbage blocks him in the center he's in a horrible spot so this is a really dangerous move for him to make for sure uh it might work out if Easily could work out if he plays way faster than Packy does, and Packy doesn't find a combo in this window here that he's been given, then it might not end up being an issue. But I think generally speaking, you can't count on people not comboing you. You have to be prepared for that. You shouldn't put yourselves in positions like this where you could easily get one piece of garbage that lands right here, or maybe even two pieces of garbage that fall in the same column because your opponent got two combos in a row. And now suddenly you're in this spot. That's exactly what happened to Packy game one, and it cost him the whole game. And now Snipe is putting himself into that position. I really don't agree with that. Especially when, like I said, you have a combo you can take in one piece right here. You could have easily just done that, and it would have uh, put some garbage back on your opponent, cleared this side of the board out. Um, you would have still had this red to deal with, but at least you would have had some more space before you make some crazy move like this. Maybe the next yellow-blue can go here. Maybe he'll do that with this one, but I don't think he does. Hopefully with this yellow blue, he'll just take the combo. But I don't think he actually ended up doing that. I think he just has to commit it now that he's made this move. He can't even do this. He has to like commit before he gets garbage on top of this and start stacking it up in the center, which he does. He will end up getting this combo anyway. With some good garbage, keeping snipe it ends up working out. Snipe, now that you've gotten away with your greedy play, you better put this double red here and clear this off. Yes, you have the option of going here, but I don't know. I... Just enough greed. I've had it's already too much greed for one game. Also finding ways to knock it right yeah, down. he does. Okay, yeah, thank God. <laughs>
He last minute veers away from this because he doesn't want to break this yellow red setup and he realizes that he's about to do that. So he just makes an empty clear because he doesn't have any other move he can make once he's uh once he's changed his mind at the last second. So that's perfectly fine. I think this is still better than blowing your setup on the right here. Up there in the center of his board was able to get that down with a combo and get he'll uh, take get it. The combo right here with these reds and these yellows. Drop the nice blue yellow set up here. Could have used that to get a triple. Like this, go for the horizontal uh, and he'll take it here. On the left. Uh, but it's very like good. Maybe... I wonder if this double yellow, crazy as it sounds, should go here. Just gives you a platform for this. It keeps your yellows together. You can make the L. I don't know. Just an idea that came to mind. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do with this double yellow. Setting Let's see what he to... does. Oh, nice. He does it. That's <laughs> sick. He had the same mind as I did here on that one. That's really good. Uh, so yeah, I mean, let's see if he builds out the L. If he, I think now that you do this, he has to prioritize red pieces on this L setup that he's now created for himself. Otherwise, this move was just like a risk that he took for nothing. So he let's see what he does. He does no, he's stacking on the right. Yeah, one of the things we've been finding is. Uh, oh no. Doing something looks optimal, oh well, that actually worked out for him. I don't know if he saw that. Can I go back to that setup? Uh, when you see a player not doing. Did he? S did he see that? Was that his plan? That might have been his plan. I didn't see this at all. He puts the red-blue like this, and he did this on purpose because he knew that once this yellow was going to clear out, he was going to, uh, this blue piece at the top would drop down in the perfect spot. These sorts of, like, horizontal drops are so hard for, to find. I have trouble finding them. I don't usually go for stuff like this because I just have trouble seeing it. But I, he definitely, this must have been his plan from the beginning. He didn't even care about the, the well... I don't even know. Did he have this plan as far back as like, like if we go back to uh, the double yellow placement? Was this his plan as far back as this? Surely not. Was it? Yeah, because then he puts the yellow blue right here. Wow. Did he plan this? That's crazy. That's such huge foresight from him. I never would have seen this in a million years. I would have gone for this L 10 times out of 10. But wow, that's incredible from Snipe if, if he actually did that on purpose. That's what, what a wild setup. This is the kind of stuff that I would never see. That's so cool. This down and he does signal that he's going to do that. And that's why he throws the red blues over here because he's not interested in making the L. But honestly, given that he got that, I wonder if he should have. I wonder if he should knowing he's when he sees he's getting these red blues. Hindsight's 2020, but like maybe you just go like this and you call it a day. This blue falls down. You'll lose a yellow over here, but like you know, I don't think that's too bad. I think he should have maybe just gone for this, but I mean, this his plan obviously worked out. So let's see what he does. Oh, but we, well, I mean, we saw what he does. He gets this sweet combo. But let's see how he plays it from here. Yeah, he takes a lot of drop time here, but I think he has to do it just to clear this this red garbage. And I actually totally agree. It's a safer move. It's not. He's not comboing here. This yellow is not even going to create a combo. The, the frame that I paused on there looked like two pieces. It's just one piece, so it's not going to combo. But, uh, yeah, I think that's still the best thing to do. He does not want to have this this right side blocked off. He would like to have a chance to clear the right side of the board before it turns into, like, you know, a blocked edge that goes to the top of the screen. Those are always so detrimental to an endgame situation that I always like. That's why I like to prioritize the edges to make sure that that kind of thing doesn't happen. They make for exciting games. They do. So, speaking of exciting Getting games, a lot of unfortunate huge. garbage Look at here. How uh, stacked up Snipe is in the middle yeah. of his board. Packy's just Packy's garbage here. has really rained it down. Uh, the comparison of the boards, the Packy is well down uh, compared to where Snipe is right now. Yeah, he's gonna make yeah, this Packy horizontal. Yeah, firmly in the driver's that. seat right now. But look at this <laughs> combo That's from Snipe. Huge. That's huge. This is almost kind of risky because any garbage that blocks this exact spot here is such. A huge so detrimental your your opponent would have to get two stun lock you twice in a row to actually do that guaranteed um and you see this first piece of garbage here is going to actually make just act as a platform and it's not that big a deal but uh if if Packy had found another combo and blocked this off this kind of a setup's really risky but i don't think he really had any other way to play this this is just the way it had to be with the pieces he was getting. Packy firmly in the driver's seat right now, but look at this combo That's from huge. Snipe. Gets a drop triple, and soon to be followed by another combo once he gets the right pills. I like that move. I didn't see a good uh, place for this double red to go. Let me go back. Combo. really like this move. Just 
Double red, I mean, he can clear this off, but it breaks his setup. This creates a new setup and maybe allows him to get something going here with uh, like a blue T. So amazing find on that move. Just to, He already had this blue garbage here, so rather than try to clear it vertically, he just set up on top of it to make a horizontal because he already has the platform ready to go. That's awesome. Gets the right pills. Yeah. Unfortunately, However, gets blocked by this yellow. Down He'll just hold down he on this streak of yellow reds. It gets blocked again. And now he's going to underclear it. He will lose his platform, but he will get a combo. Oh, then it gets blocked again. That is just really unfortunate. Just getting just barred with garbage. Oh, what happened there? Let me go back for a second. So he makes this. This play maybe is not even great either, but... Once you have this red garbage here, you don't have a lot of horizontal opportunities. I don't really know what else you can do. I guess what he was trying to do is get this red yellow over and flipped up in order to uh, in order to make the com well, it wouldn't have been a combo. This yellow would have actually just uh, pill deleted off the top like this. And uh, for anyone who's unaware, if you if you make a clear and the second half of your pill is off the top of the screen, it just ceases to exist. It doesn't fall from above the screen. It just disappears as if it was never there so he wouldn't actually get a combo from this but i think i think he was knowing that he was just trying to get the red over i guess to make this combo here uh if we do red yellow he would make a co drop combo like that but that requires doing a fast enough tap to the right that it doesn't get stuck and i'm pretty sure that's what happened he went for that and then he just missed combo it unpacking. well not yet on this one he tried to get it over twice but even on 37 speed i don't know if that's like, if I was doing that, I would be, like, smashing my controller to, you know, worst case, like, get it over uh, three times before that happened. I'll show it. I don't even know it's possible. But, yeah, this was really risky to go for. I don't know if he had a better option. I don't know if this red garbage could have been dealt with in another way besides putting a double red on top of it. Let's go back and see because that's really unfortunate. And he kind of put himself in that situation, so... Let's go back just a sec. So very uh, shortly here, he's going to get the red garbage. And he's got a double red. He immediately goes for this. Um, I don't love that for obvious reasons. It's possible the best thing to do may have just been to do maybe red, red. You could do it that way. Um, and uh, then from there, maybe just... Yeah, I think maybe the best thing to do would be to bank on maybe just getting yellow horizontally like this making a t he has the platforms to do it uh would have just been uh would have just been better to to clear it that way maybe rather than go for this yeah i think taking the yellow t i think might have been the only way to go here i mean the other option if we take this double red move that he did maybe from here with this double red he could just tap it to the right once it's pretty easy and then just make this clear it does break his setup but realistically this is not like a very good setup as you could as we saw when he went for it and died. I think the safe move here might have been better. Yeah, it takes a lot of drop time, but you don't really have a lot of situ like a lot of choice in the matter. And then you still have a yellow blue setup that you can then get by get taking a yellow blue like this. So I think that might have been the better way to do it because this was just too much. It was too risky and it cost him the game. At least he would have had a chance to keep going and fight back if he had uh, taken it a little safer on that one. He, he needed to get it over two. He only got it over one, and that uh, that caused it to just drop out the top of his, bo uh, his so, bottle. So yeah, that's really unfortunate uh, for man, Snipe. Oh, but we uh, for this now we get a game five out of it, I guess. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Said, you know, Can't complain. Game after game, Let's uh, go into the end game of the last one here. Red, yellow on this board. Uh, the move that jumps out to me. I don't love this red yellow situation. That's not great. Uh, doesn't really contribute to a setup. This red is going to clear out first before the yellows, so that's out. Um, the only other move that I can see would probably be this, because uh, you get a yellow red setup here, and this red looks like garbage. But if you can clear these blues out horizontally later on, the red will drop down onto the red virus down here, so that's good. Alternatively, you could go all in on this blue horizontal, and you could just put the yellow red like this to set up for a drop combo. Uh, I think I would rather keep my options open and do it this way. No, <laughs> do it this way, just because you now have like a yellow red set up here like this. Um, and then if that doesn't work out, um, you like, well, I mean, that's that's what you're hoping will happen. But if you get yellow blues, you can just put them on the setup here. Uh, if you get a blue red, maybe it goes like this. 
So you have more options that way rather than just banking on this double blue working out for you. Because if it doesn't, if this blue gets blocked, like if, if red garbage drops here before you can finish the, or even if like you put the blue here and then the yellow drops here, if this horizontal gets cut off in any way, then uh, you've kind of banked it. You've, you've now built up the center of your board here and uh, it's not going to work out. So I don't love that risk. I think it's better to just take a more measured approach and just uh, do it yellow red like that. So let's see what these guys decide to do. Here they go. Your board and here we go. Wow. Okay. So um, Packy taking the more definitely more conservative option where he doesn't want to even contribute anything to this horizontal and snipe definitely just taking the all in decision to uh, to just go full in on the blues. Uh, this this can definitely work. And now that he's done this, this red yellow is likely going to go right here so that he can uh, uh, he can then make the horizontal and and sort of you know commit to this initial decision that he's made and he's got a blue coming right after so he's probably just going to go for this horizontal as quickly as he possibly can i would hope uh let's see what he does this will decide who yeah. goes on and four moves he's made two pieces of garbage here but he's got the first combo i don't love that this looks really ugly on the right and he's got another yellow blue maybe he could have built up on the right instead but you know it is what it is we'll see uh Eight. what comes of it here First combo to snipe, but Packy with a really wow, nice he just setup. cleared it off I'm very fact, quickly. At least he prioritized clearing this right side. Out. That's really drop, important. Drop. That, oh, it's but a quad by snipe. It's and look still at all going. Blue. Why are we get another. Speed run board yeah, yeah right? he just uh, he just got snipe, he just yeah. found his pocket snipe's and he and he went for it. Board, I think this this is a great board and. Um, the and I think the real issue is that because there's so many doubles in the center, that's what really contributed to snipe getting such a huge advantage. I've never really considered this in a in a real match that I've been playing, but when you see a board with like all these doubles, obviously in speedrun, this is like amazing. You'd love to see this because you know you're just gonna blast through this board once you get here, as long as you get the right colors. Um, so many doubled up viruses, you're just gonna clear them so quickly. But in versus, even though you're not really gonna you know rely on that to win, it is nice to have all these doubled up viruses because you get so many natural setups from doing it. And you get to them more quickly and less viruses, and it just gives you a better ability to to stun lock people, so, which is huge. So uh, that definitely contributed to the position that Snipe finds himself in now. He's very far ahead, and Packy's quite blocked up by the garbage that he's received. So uh, we're gonna see uh, how he continues this on here. That Packy has been able to drop down his really not. Done wow, this might be a quick one. Game at all. Yeah, but uh, Packy with. Oh the my blue. God, he's gonna get stun locked at the top uh, of the board. Wow, snipe with a stun lock going on. He's gonna find a T, but just a little bit. But Packy able to get the combo off. Uh, but snipe already down to twenty. Oh whoa, that was really weird from snipe. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, but he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna take this combo," and then he's like, "Oh wait, there's only one, two, three yellow pieces. That's not a combo." And then he's like, oh, God, what do I do? I don't know. And then he just puts it here. That's unfortunate. I think he maybe was trying to go for this because uh, this doesn't even contribute to a combo. There's a red virus underneath, of course. Um, this, And then the other option he had for this double blue was maybe just to uh, put it up here. He could have even empty cleared this if he wanted because he's got a thunder. Oh, actually, I, I didn't even see this lightning bolt setup he has. I think I actually would love this move if he had thought of it in time because now if you get this red yellow coming... You snipe it in there, and then these blues fall and make a combo on the blue virus underneath. So you get a triple and two pills. That's sick. So, uh, unfortunate that he went to that, but at least even this move would have been better than this. So, unfortunate uh, issue for Snipe. Sometimes it's hard to catch yourself and find another move when he was so confident that he was going to put it down uh, right here in this spot. Uh, he was absolutely sure that this was going to be his move, but he didn't want to break it. The other thing he could have also done, I'm now seeing at the last second, rather than move it to the left, is just put it here. And now he has a blue yellow setup here as well. So that might have also been good. Uh, even just getting like a blue red to go like this, not going to combo, but still better than this move. So yeah, sometimes you just get, when you when you see a move and you're confident and then you realize at the last second that it's a bad idea, you have like no time to think. And this is just kind of what happens. It happens to the best of us. Down. To 29 viruses to pack, he's 46. And he takes the, and if he had put the double blue up there, then he would have a triple here, but still gets a double, and he's still very far ahead, so not going to hurt him too much, I don't think. If he can get to it. 
Yep. He taking his it, next combo. This is just slaughter right, right now. Himself from having, uh, two stacked up a position on his right hand side. Yeah. Honestly, he's, he's just going for literally everything. Now, That's a quad um, now he's going to get. It, which is absolutely the right call, but Snipe drops a quad on him. Um, does clear out some garbage for him. Oh, he's uh, just going for the kill now. You can see really it. He just knows. I just have to play fast and make combos uh, as quickly as possible. He can probably here. see this massive off. garbage on the other side of the board. The Holy, team. what a massacre this game was. This garbage is good. Right if he can now, find any sorts of combos, really and he's in a great spot, and he has some good setups, but... And if you blinked, you missed how far Snipe yeah. has gotten down this board. Snipe has just taken such a huge lead that, yeah, Packy can make uh, combos, but it's, uh, oh, Pack. he's going to double stun lock uh, him here. Really That's a really unfortunate garbage and for Packy, too. Garbage falls exactly where Packy didn't want it. Is, <laughs> fortunately, was able to get some virus. The to clear it Snipe's going to stabilize oh, pretty well here. in the same spot. Yeah. Snipe just... Packy to just finding, right he's now. he's Great playing this so well. Snipe. Every time he has a combo set up, he's so hitting it, and he's just blazing through this. Yeah. This is crazy. Sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes things just work out for you. There's, <laughs> I don't know what Packy could have uh, even done here. Double, double but it's hard to imagine anybody coming back from this spot. Wow. That is a what a quad that he finds. Holy cow, and Packy drops a quad right back at him is the crazy thing. All right, we're down to just yeah, I mean, looking at this endgame, the only real problem that Snipe has to worry about is just all blues surrounded with reds blocking them from all sides. So yellow pills are not great. Um, I mean, once he gets this red-blue sorted, he can just make blue-yellow combos over here on the left if he really wants to, um, or red-yellow combos that he doesn't need. But he's got to clear the, prioritize clearing these reds out. And uh, if he can do it by making combos, that's fine. But he can really do no wrong. I mean, even if he just made empty combos for the rest of this game, he could probably still win. So, uh, yeah. We'll see what uh, what happens here. Oh, he has an opportunity to make a blue T. I would definitely try to do that. That would probably seal the deal here. Is helping Snipe out. In fact, that one's going to take care of some garbage as well. Snipe down to... Wow, building up this combo is crazy. I've got to triple this out. <laughs> oh, a quad wow what a play that he saw this he was like i can't stack it up horizontally so i have to do it vertical and then he easily could have just put this blue yellow like this just to make the make the triple but he saw the double yellow in his next box and he and uh he just uh held out by making this uh this spot here and then obviously the double yellow makes a huge l that's a big quad yeah it's not getting greedy there but he knows he's got a little bit of time here but and the speed is only at 41. Oh, that double blue gonna be really nice for Snipe. Wow, and the double blue. One. He's got oh, a double blue in the chamber. Drops. That's it. There it is gonna be Snipe. Wow. What a ridiculous Packy game five. Nine. That was not even close. Hits. That last game. Jeez. You don't see games like that very often. Like that was. I think the board just kind of lent itself to that. Like if we go back, I want to go back and look at the. Uh, Start of game. Is this game five? Yeah, I want to go all the way back to the beginning. Like, just looking at this oh, this board, if you look at the whole thing, look how many, like, blue, 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 like, look at these blue square, yellow square, blue square, reds and yellows doubled up, blues doubled up here, reds doubled up here, blues doubled up here. There's just so, so many, like, these are not very well mixed. Like, there's so many viruses doubled up. This is the sort of board where you can have a game like Snipe did. Uh, honestly, when I'm playing, I never look, I'm always just so focused on the, the first few moves. I'm never looking at the board to think of things like this, but analyzing this game, it makes me wonder if that's something we sh you should pay more attention to, or at least something worth analyzing to see if, uh, you know, if how important the opening is going to be. Cause I think on a board like this, where you have so many things, so many viruses doubled up and so many opportunities, once you break through that top line, uh, if you break through that top line and you get a, a good, advantage in your opening you can care these doubles will allow you to carry that so much further and and that's exactly what happened and snipe was able to just continuously combo because half the setups were already done for him look at them they're all over the place so yeah that was that was crazy um that was amazing uh, amazing game five and yeah snipe was able to beat packy here and this was a big deal this is uh Packy unfortunately didn't make the top eight of this tournament because uh snipe who i wouldn't call him an unknown player but he wasn't super active in the community before this, this, uh, this event. So we, everyone was really surprised that he was there. And, uh, 
he proved that he's got what it takes. And honestly, the scary thing is he's gotten even better since then. He's uh, a force to be reckoned with since he's been playing in the monthly checkups. So, yeah, just uh, just incredible that uh, to see the way he's been playing now. He's gotten even better than this since this time. Um, yeah, definitely a lot to learn from his play. Uh, even back at this time, even back in November before he really uh, hit his uh, his redemption arc. Where he didn't, because he did make it to the top eight. Unfortunately, lost in the top eight to Pan Van Richard, who came very close to winning. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe that's a match I should review. Maybe Snipe versus Pan Van Richard would be good to watch from Pan Van's perspective, because that game was crazy. I remember watching that live and uh, lost my mind at the end of that match. So maybe we'll do that another time. But uh, yeah, this was fun. Uh, I enjoyed going back and watching a Torg match. That was super awesome. Uh, can't wait for the next one. Um, but, uh, who knows, maybe, uh, uh, maybe I'll, I'll have to hit up a regional before that. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, um, I'm going to call it there. Uh, that's definitely, I think that's about it. Thanks everyone in the, who participated in the chat. Thanks everyone who came out to watch. Um, yeah, we'll, con we'll continue this Tuesday train. I believe we're two weeks away from another monthly checkup tournament. Yeah. Two weeks from now. So sign ups for that. I will probably put up very soon. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for me. Um, thanks to everybody who was watching. We got quite a few live viewers, actually. Five viewers. Thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate uh, the live support. Definitely check it out on YouTube when it goes live. But other than that, uh, I'm going to call it there. So until next time, everybody, even if it is the middle of summer, stay safe, stay warm, and don't skip out on your monthly checkup. I'll see you next time, everybody.